Hi folks, welcome back to Math with uh, Captain Rod. I'm making this video here to uh, just discuss the nature of the solution sets you get when you try to solve a system of equations, uh, specifically just two variable linear systems here. So we're going to take a look at uh, three possible cases here. So systems that, that look like, uh, like this, 2x plus y equals 4, and uh, this other equation here, x uh, minus y equals 3. Here's another system we're going to look at, 2x plus y equals 4, 2x plus y equals 6, and here's a third example here, 2x plus y equals 4, and 4x plus 2y equals 8. So in general, we're talking about, you know, a system of equations that looks like, you know, ax plus by equals some number c, and another equation maybe dx plus ey equals some other number d. This is kind of a generic uh, pair of linear equations here. We're just going to kind of go through this case by case. What are all the things that can happen? Okay, so case one. When you graph linear functions, you know, they, they're straight and they have a certain slope. I went ahead and grafted these two already, just quick sketches. They're not the best graphs I've ever drawn, but the, the 2x uh, plus y equals 4. I believe that's that curve right there. When x is 0, y would be 4. That's point. That's that point. When y is 0, x would be 2. That's that point. Connect the dots. Do a similar thing with this one, and you'll get a graph that looks something like this. They intersect right there. And you notice that they only intersect once. So this is probably the most common example if you're working algebra homework in some sort of class. Most systems of equations you're given will have one solution. Now keep in mind that a solution is a pair of numbers. It's an x and a y, and that's considered one solution. Right. Another possibility, so when we take a look at this system, 2x plus y equals 4 and 2x plus y equals 6. If you graph these, and I did, here's the first one here, and then if you graph 2x plus y equals 6, it looks something like this. Now if you're familiar with linear equations here, you'll notice that, like if I solve this one for y, this is going to read y equals minus 2x plus 4. This thing has a slope of negative 2. If I solve this one for y, we get minus 2x plus 6. Now notice these both have a slope of negative 2. These lines are parallel and they are never going to cross. So here this is going to have uh, no solution to it. Now when you're working a system of equations and uh, what, what will happen is that will tell you you have no solution to it is if you get you know you're working your system and you get something like oh, uh, negative 2 equals 4 or something like that. Um, that's your indicator that there's no solution to the system of equations. All right. Another possibility here. Here's a pair of examples. 2x plus y equals 4. 4x plus 2y equals 8. Now, this is these are, I guess, technically different equations. However, you'll notice that if you take this entire equation, divide everything by 2, you get this one. If you were to actually graph both of these, they lie on the same line. So in this case, everything, or there's an infinite number of solutions there. There's a solution, if I put them in red, there's a solution here, and here, and here, and here, and everywhere in between. What will happen math-wise is when you're solving a system of equations and you get it down to some sort of statement like 0 equals 0. This is true for all values of x and y. That means That's what's telling you there's an infinite number of solutions. So those are the three possibilities when you're solving linear equations. I'm just over, um, overviewed again. Perhaps they cross once, in which case there's a one solution set, meaning one x, you know, an x and a y that solve your system. Perhaps they don't cross at all, they're parallel, in which case there's no solution, or some books will say uh, inconsistent or something to that effect. Or perhaps they're the same line, and there's an infinite number of solutions. So I'm not, I'll, do, uh, I'll go through examples in another video. This was just meant to be kind of an overview of the things that can happen. I hope that that uh, uh, helps with this. Have a great day.